Hello! Welcome to another in-game developer diary. And so, this developer diary is going to be kind of interesting, well, hopefully interesting, because I'm going to sort of talk about the things that no one thinks about um, when when designing a game, and certainly things that, that we didn't really have planned out when we started. So, um, firstly, let me go through this door. And then here you go right to left. Um, that seems reasonable. And uh, you continue to go right to left. And uh, then you keep going right to left. And go out this door. And then you're back in a hallway. Now this is actually the same hallway as before. The question is, say you want to progress further in this level, which way do you go? Do you go left or do you go right? So let me just use my little debug cheat here and we. So this is the door we enter. So it's the same hallway. If you want to go further, uh, you would continue this way to, to the uh, Right, so the idea is things are arranged uh, such that left to right is forward, uh, in, in this section of the level anyway. But now the interesting thing is if you uh, open this door again, now if you imagine that you entered a door on the back wall and then you came into this room, the actual way to uh, go um, to progress further would be to the left. And this is something that I completely did not understand. Um, that, you know, um, you uh, should actually be going to the left through these rooms for this to match uh, the, the outside world. Um, and so, uh, So anyway, I continue, We oops, that was not what I was supposed to do, some bug with our cheater things. Uh, so to some extent, if people who go to the left after exiting that door are actually going in the same direction, but at least in my mind, I didn't, uh, I didn't think of this at all. Like, to me, it was like, okay, left to right is how we want the level to flow, so we'll arrange the rooms that way. But the, the problem is that we are um, creating essentially a 2D representation of a 3D world. And um, this can be quite challenging. And uh, one of the games we looked at um, was Resident Evil. And uh, Resident Evil essentially has 2D renders of the background, this is the first one, and static cameras. And uh, it can be a little frustrating because they have the sort of tank driving things and uh, tank driving controls uh, for the character. Um, but um, it, uh, they were very fortunate in that uh, they had sort of two things going for them. One that had a map. And two, uh, they could frame any camera angle they want. And so we can move the camera a bit, but um, it's uh, difficult to come up with new camera angles that are, you know, A, not too jarring. I mean, in that, you know, they're not reversing the uh, direction of everything, but also uh, continue with the flow we want because. Uh, you know, one of the things we want is that um, you don't get confused when you go through a door, you know where to go. And so like, uh, for example, we could have it so you go through this door and then this door is actually the cameras all rotated around and then say you come out on the other side. Um, and actually this is a feature I want to add uh, at some point is the idea that, that we show the doors closing that you just came through because I think 
it will help sort of connect the rooms and help your mind sort of fill in the idea that you're in a 3D space with 2D representations. But in terms of what we do our maps in in uh, like a 2D top-down view, and then we realize that basically some of the rooms and some of the directions we want, we can't frame with our camera, or it would produce a weird thing. Uh, because basically you can only show the room from certain camera angles. Like for example, uh, because the door is on the back wall, and this window is on the back wall, um, this window basically is can't exist. It's opening into a hallway. Uh, the solution for that, of course, would be basically to flip the camera in this room. And so if we flip the camera in this room, this window would be on the opposite side, the side of the mansion facing the outside. Um, and uh, But the problem is then the direction the, the camera would basically be flipped just for this room and you'd be traveling the opposite direction than you're traveling for the other rooms. So it's really a tough problem to solve and and uh, one that we weren't really fully equipped to solve. I mean, we didn't really think it all the way through because uh, we looked at, at like Lone Survivor uh, and Lone Survivor has doors in the foreground and uh you know we're like oh well we'll just arrange our room such that you know we don't need that foreground door which turned out to be really hard and then you know i looked at maniac mansion um and so we sort of have the the similar sort of room for a screen and and with the the perspective on the on the left and the right walls kind of like the the original maniac mansion but i don't think they had a lot of you know, I think everything is mostly left to right, and, and they don't do a lot of, you know, camera angles or, or trying to create much of a 3D space. Um, so, yeah, it's a tough problem to solve, and certainly one that I think um, would be worth thinking about if you're trying to do a... Um, game like this. And I mean, certainly an, another solution is if you look at the game Home, uh, Home basically is essentially a 2D space. There's no doors on the back walls, there's no 3D aspect to it. Uh, you just move, you know, up and down stairs and left and right, and um, you know, certainly that's a, a good way to to simplify things but I think for for our game which uh, exploration is sort of a big uh, and important aspect to it at least uh, in my mind um, that uh, that wouldn't work very well so uh, anyway I guess the real question that I'd like to pose sort of at the end of this is that let's when you go through this door here should you end up in uh, something like this, and then you go this direction to um, uh, to continue, you go left to right, or uh, when you go through the first door, should it really drop you off like here, and then you have to travel right to left uh, in order to um, exit uh, Sorry, my little debug tweak messes up some animations. But then this would essentially exit you by the clock. So the question is, do we go with the way that would match the 3D world, uh, although the window would still be wrong, or do we, um, do we uh, go with the way that matches sort of the direction the player is used to going? I don't really have the right answer, so I'd really like to uh, know what you guys think. Anyway, thanks for watching.